Hey, what's going on guys? Epic D-Man here and welcome to another watch review. Um, this is, um, this watch was brought to us by Watch Gang, uh, for the month of June. Um, it's made by a company called, it, it's weird, it's hard to pronounce, um, Stewie, Vaught SA. <laughs> I'll leave a link to their website in the description below. Anyways, so this is the box, it's fairly hefty. Um, it's made out of a cardboard, but it has a wood grain around it. It's actually pretty nice. It's not real wood. I wish it was. That'd give it a little more of a look, but let me see here. Just open it up. And there it is. So that's how you spell it. They did a good job doing the cardboard. How they wrapped it and the attention to the detail is nice on this box. So in here you have a pouch. In this pouch you have this little piece of paper. This is one of my first times looking at this, so. But it's a chronograph movement. Um, it's quartz, it is not automatic. Still going after an automatic chronograph. But um, so this is pretty much how to use the chronograph and the user manual and assistance guide. So in here, here's the watch. It looks good. It, it's very solid. It's Swiss made, so it, it's definitely going to be good. Um, this whole box on the inside is this felt material and it's really really nice so and then you have your silica gel inside so this is the pillow it's, it's a nice pillow it's stiff it's firm but it's soft to keep your watch comfortable it's trip for delivery so we're gonna close that right back up it's a solid closure it's nice just like this watch this watch is very hefty uh, that's why the box was hefty because this this watch is quite heavy. I really like it with the brushed stainless steel all over. It's full stainless steel brushed. See, there's the watch. I can get like that. It looks good. The way that the black, the yellow, and the white contrast together on the dial um, really make it look um, very, like a more higher up um, watch brand, like a Breitling. This this watch definitely reminds me of a Breitling type watch. It's really nice, and the links, I like the links. These links, I really like. I think that. They're pretty nice. Uh, we haven't had the watch resized or anything like that yet. Um, but yeah, it's it's nice. I really like it. So now we can get on to the functions of the watch. So this thing has a quick set date, a um, hour, minute, of course, seconds, and a chronograph function. And um, pretty much all of the white that you see is luminescent except for the numbers on the subdials and the outlining on the subdials. Everything else um, is luminescent and it's like a, it's a pretty blue luminescent. It's very bright. I really enjoy it. So the functions again, uh, let's start, let's, uh, it has a screw down crown so this thing is water resistant but we'll get to the case back we haven't even removed the stickers either i think the only one is the case back wow this is really hard to open i'll see you guys when i get this crown all right so the crown is now open um as you can see it has been unscrewed and pulled out to its first position so this first position is, if this were to be an automatic watch, this would be the manual wind position, but um, there's really no position there. So pulling it out to the 
uh, second position, I guess you could say, is the quick set date. Um, if you turn the crown upwards, it will change the date. Turning it downwards does nothing. <laughs> and the third position is for the time. Like so. Turning the watch clockwise, um, of course, makes the time go forward. Turning it counterclockwise makes the time go backward. And then you can, of course, just screw the crown back down. I can screw it. <laughs> that crown is very solid, and it has the logo of the company emblazoned into it, which looks really nice as it's polished. As well as the pushers. The pushers are also polished, um, which I think gives off a pretty nice look, so it's like easier to see in the dark, I guess. Because uh, to me, polished... Um, looks have a more easier to see look or are easier to see in the dark <laughs> so now we can get to the chronograph function which is probably the main show so uh, you have these two pushers they're not screwed down or anything you don't have to unscrew them like on a um, like the Invicta Speedway which I have to do a review on uh, see that in the coming weeks yeah so this right here you Push that in, it's a solid push, and you'll know when you pushed it because this chronograph second hand will begin to move. And then clicking it again will stop the timer. So this is the start stop type thing, and this is the lap. And um, yeah, so this is lap and um, reset. That's what I was trying to say. <laughs> so as you can see, the second hand is going around, and then if we click this button in, it will stop. Click it again, and it will keep going continuously. And now that it's come up, we can take a look at the minute subdial as it will click over just like that and then clicking this is the stop so it'll stop just like that and then clicking this should reset just like that it's a pretty basic chronograph setup although it's very accurate since it's a quartz watch so now we can take a look at the clasp and the case back so the clasp um, it's a nice clasp. It's like a hideaway type clasp. Click in the two buttons, two pushers, and then this clasp opens up. I, I like the look of this clasp, this type of clasp. I think it looks really good. As you can see, here's um, some of the stickers. Go ahead and remove. We, there's also one on the case back, which we can also remove. It's very nice. It says stainless steel. And that is very nice. So this is the back. If anyone knows how to properly pronounce the name, I keep calling it Stewie, Stewie Vaught, S-A, I think. Um, but yeah, so it says back here, all stainless steel, Swiss movement, uh, 15061, water resistant, 10 ATM, which is 100 meters, which is around 330 feet. So we can go ahead and remove sticker here just like that and the num the letters and the numbers and everything that's the writing on the case back is actually really nicely drilled in it looks really good and it won't like wipe away or anything like that and another thing I like is the attention to detail is like how the outer rim is polished. I think that looks really good for this watch. I think that's about it for this watch review. If you guys enjoyed, be sure to hit the like button on this video. And um, be sure to watch the other watch reviews. I have around five or six other watch reviews. Um, be sure to leave a like on those as well. And subscribe if you're new to the channel. and. 
yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video.